our us. goal. We would reach our goal. We, we would even, reach it. it would We're one there. away. One away from our goal, guys. Be the one, be the change you want to see in the world, <laughs> <laughs> or be the change that we want to see in the world. Honestly, believe in the me that believes in you yeah. guys to sub and re-help us. Sub to us the channel that would sub to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh. Even, I gotta put the winners and losers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are in grand finals. Winner side, uh, Dill, I believe, and loser side, John. Oh Lander. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I definitely did that backwards. Uh, who knows how long we're here, honestly, because it feels like these sets can either be a slobber knocker if one player isn't quite ready to play at the pace of the other. Like, if Dill isn't in a mood to fight Numbers, Numbers can just kind of roll for a little bit. If Numbers isn't ready to play against Dill, Dill just gets to roll for a little bit. But we may be seeing a, a, a Numbers feeling pretty good and a Dill feeling a little bit impatient, which is never something you want to see against a Wii Fit in general, but especially Numbers. Yeah, especially John Numbers, who plays just such a reactionary game style and right there reacting to the uh, the neutral air and now already lapping Dill in percents, getting deep breathing online as well. Very scary situation for Dill. You know what I find so fascinating about John's game plan, uh, gameplay, mm -hmm. is he takes a character that has a lot of very straightforward um, like tools in some regard, like volleyball from ledge, right? You would think, you would look at that, and it's like, all right, I just block it, and then what are they going to do about it? But John is able to take a, on paper, extremely simplified option and turn it into the most layered trap imaginable. Oh, that was unnecessary, John. And he gets rewarded for it. Frequently. He does. Like just, in that case, it wasn't volleyball from ledge, but it was just, hey, I get to like go for this down air. I get to play the offstage game and consistently force a Dill to be put into this trap reaction like position that's uncomfortable for anybody. Mm -hmm. And he thrives off of that discomfort and puts... Huh? <laughs> yeah, the, the involved smile. What's, what's up? Yeah, but like, Rob Nair just... Bleh. She needs it. She's really fit, guys. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, if you go to the gym enough, you will get iframes. Yeah, that's... That is actually how that works. That's how that yeah. works. <laughs> Uh, like, let We Fit and One Punch Man be your inspirations. <laughs> I want to. I want to see that. Uh, that crossover. I want to see that crossover. Death Battle, get on it. I bet We <laughs> Fit does 200 sit-ups and 400. Uh, and she doesn't even punch. have a house, so she can't not turn on the air conditioning. And a full head of hair. <laughs> what kind of stronger. juice did she drink? Even stronger. <laughs> Was it Mike's special stuff? <laughs> The crossovers are too high. Oh my god. We're, <laughs> we're creating a bigger. A, a the bigger cinematic sick. universe. Yeah. <laughs> the cinematic universe. On our Netflix show. Yeah, the DCU. The XCU. XCU. The Xeno Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh my god. Can we get Falco as the producer? I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I, someone needs to make a mod of Falco just wearing a, a little director's beret. Oh, he'd be so adorable. Nice. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's always so awkward trying to play around a sun salutation when it can. It's almost within the stage, but that high recovery <coughs> stuffed out from Dill, very nice. Not trying to get too lost in the in the new Xeno cinematic universe. <laughs> can't get can't get overwhelmed by something that's just started, you know. <laughs> if we get a reset, can we call it like post credits finals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I have. Sure. <laughs> cool. All right, so John, you gotta win this for the bit. Please. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the way for it. After a rough game one, though, Dill's Dill's rebounded well. It's just a matter of sticking with said game plan because numbers being very uncharacteristically aggressive going on stage as Dill overcommitted to uh, covering the corner. The dash back being met by a runoff back air. Very nice stuff, actually. 
I'm gonna keep that one on my head for later. At the end of Brands, no matter which one, we're just gonna fade to black. John will return. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. And we go to credits. <laughs> Threatening. Oh, we have to play credits before set two of Grand. Yes. <laughs> yeah. God. I I I want to make uh, something like some jokey post credits or something. I think it'd be fun. Uh, I'm putting together a team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of, of extraordinary Lord. smashers. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, the spot dodge read, but great tech in there from uh, from Dill. Not falling for any of John's uh, corner play and traps. Plenty of down tilts to go with it as well. Yep, down tilts beating out the jab out of shield from John. All right, yep. sun salutation online. Potentially off stage now, gonna be seeing if John goes for the deep breathing. But no, just wasting no time and making his way back into stage. Not giving Dill any chance to finish out that stock there. And that's what, uh, almost a to a T of what I was talking about earlier. Like, Dill missed the down air and went almost full stage. It's like, I'm respecting all of this. I'm not playing John's game. Despite, on paper, it being like, okay, block the volleyball and then maybe you get a punish or maybe you read the timing mix up or something. No, I'm not dealing with that. I'm forcing you to do something normal, which I can react and then punish. And Dill uh, does not lose for the bit and instead <laughs> takes the win for that game too, trying to end our movie creating dreams before they start. I don't know. We're trying to make it to Hollywood, Dill. We're trying to make the money, baby. We're trying to make the big money. I could have made it. Could have gone pro. <laughs> I don't know, man. It should have been me, not them. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> Small <laughs> battlefield, here we are. Let's go, Dill. <laughs> oh, my God. But the Snake Eater music counterpick, too. Very cinematic. Very true. Very true. It is a... Kojima games are basically movies. I should, pretty much. Uh, I should just change the, the cameras in the gameplay to 24 FPS. <laughs> Add some. <laughs> Can we put some like letterbox? I was literally about to say. <laughs> I was like, add some like some black bars, some letterboxes to the top and bottom. Yeah, put like a, a little grainier filter. Yeah. Right? <laughs> God. We'll see you at Sunday. Sun salutation dance. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's uh. That's pretty good. Thanks. I worked real hard on it. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was his masterpiece that they wanted. Salute the Sundance. <laughs> there you go. That was better executed. Can we recast John with <laughs> Liam Neeson? <laughs> you know uh, 30 Rock where yeah. uh, Tracy Morgan plays Tracy Jordan, <laughs> right? I, I, I think it'd be like, you know, John Letters played by John Numbers. <laughs> Just who is Jonathan Numbers? <laughs> uh. Oh, this is, those are, does find a groove though. Despite all, uh, despite us all being, I mean, I, I, Whatever we're doing, I don't know. <laughs> like <laughs> Dill has found, a, Dill has found a, like a real solid groove here by just doing the normal, like doing what is so good against a lot of like mid to high tier like unique scenarios and traps, gimmicks, etc. Whatever you want to call them, it's like all right, I'm gonna use my good stuff, not always, and I'm gonna play the stage control game. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing here, and you have to deal with that, John. And yeah. John currently was unable to close down the stock thanks to not having a deep breathing online, and is still presented with the problem of, hmm, how do I, how do I mix up Dill to the point where she doesn't press down tilt? And the answer is that's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, especially after such a rough game one as well, We've been seeing some really great adaptations coming out from Dill to potentially close out the tournament in this game. Yeah, a whole stock up. Like, it's hers to lose here. John could have been the contender, but instead. <laughs> <laughs> instead, he's left by the wayside. 
and especially now playing at the ledge, Dill can really start playing that uh, chip chip damage game. Right. And let's walk in forward into a Sun Salutation. Yeah. The chip damage game can get very dangerous very quickly with Wii Fit, though. Like, a lot of these buttons as well, and the importance of deep breathing can almost always mean that Wii Fit is out damaging you, gets the berry, but a clean air dodge to that platform, and Dill finally finds an opening, able to get a clean 27 off of it. And more. Oh, the positioning is everything. Eating the Sun Salutation with that gyro. What a crouch from John. That was so fast, too. The like, expectation of, you're going to throw this gyro. Uh-oh. Double spare. Not going for the arm rotor immediately. Instead, just taking the damage. Gyro offline, though, still stuck in the center stage. And now Dill has to find her way back on. Does that so was after terrifying. <laughs> It gets scary every time the triple spot dodge uh, what, or the triple down tilt beats the spot dodge. 101 to four, 143, and this is plenty of extra credit here that Dill was looking for. Just need to close down the stock and find, or priority actually is to find a way to land. Oh, the last wow. hit, and they close out the stock. Another numbers shrug and a 6P. <laughs> <laughs> but. Dill overcomes it, able to win that <laughs> two to one and close out grand finals before the Xeno Cinematic Universe could get started. Our dreams Cut will be short in its prime. Yeah. Our dreams will still be memes, but Dill will once again be the reigning champion at Xeno number two six six. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have learned... Oh, hi, Dill. Here comes Dill. Dill, do you want to say something? I, I dedicate this win to HO3K Looney Tunes. <laughs> let's you go. know, let's, let's go, dude. Looney Tunes. Shout-outs to Looney Tunes, who at Xeno Saga just this past weekend uh, got top eight, I believe. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's go. Love that for him. <laughs> House of 3000 members popping off. Uh, House uh, Xeno... The weekly continuing to be one of the best weeklies in Tri-State, if not the best, run by, I think so. run by uh, the top-tier production staff with the top-tier players in the top-tier region of the world. What's there more to say? John Numbers will return. John Numbers will return. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>